Hey guys, let's continue taking notes on section 7.1, looking at sampling distributions, and more specific, the idea of an unbiased estimator. So take a moment and read over this. And as you read, go ahead and pause, and let's discuss it. Okay, so... First of all, as I explain this to someone that doesn't know statistics, I can't use the word unbiased estimators. Like, what the heck is that about? But what we can tell them is that I take many samples, and then I find the average of those samples, and let's look at the percentages. What I do is I am going to plot them and then see how close they are to the population. So I need to get rid of that P hat. Because remember, this is about the parameter, and the parameter is about the entire population. So if I have one sample that's here, okay, a percentage, another sample that's here is a percentage, another sample that's here, the more samples that I have, so as I have many, many, many samples, and all these dots, remember, represent P hat. As I get many of those samples, the more they surround and get closer to that of the population. So they don't give a specific percentage here, but as we look at, let's say the percentage, again, the idea of Trump's approval rating, because you know he's my best friend. Okay, sarcastic, sarcastic. Okay, so as I look at this right here, 39%, that is what they say they poll him at in terms of um, um, in favor of him. So all these other dots around here represents another um, sample. Let's say this is um, one polling place. And this is another polling. And as we do more and more, remembering that these are samples, not individuals, that all of these dots, which are P hat, are going to look more or start to surround or look close to that of the population. Now, pause to, do them, to read number 18. So, as we're looking at 18, again, we're predicting an, um, an election, and we have our sampling proportion as we continue to get used to the notation P hat as an unbiased estimator. Okay, so they want us to explain, someone that doesn't know statistics, how large sampling will um, make it more trustworthy. Well, we know, as always, larger the sample, the more precise something's going to be as long as we did not have any bias in our collection method. Okay, so in this case, bigger is better. Okay, again, with the understanding that we did not do convenience sampling or volunteer sampling. Now, the last one, problem number 20. Pause and read. Okay, so as we're looking at this, it's talking about, again, we have a parameter for the population of all returning the claims that are going to, um, returns that are itemized deductions. So is that how they determine the audit people? Interesting. Okay, anyway, which is a better estimate? Well, again, we've talked about large sample sizes, so it makes sense that the 20,000 is going to be better than the 2,000. 2,000 is nice. But 20,000 is just totally amazing. Larger sample, more information um, that we are going to get about the population. And therefore, as everything I've said the last couple of minutes, the more precise it is. So, less than five minutes. I did it. Peace out, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.